tus labios que quieran mí. Cariño, ni no, 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 What happened, John? Who is he? He caught Esmeralda as she was going for the water. I just happened by at the right time. Slim! John! What's going on here? Dad! He attacked Esmeralda as she came down for the water. Slim shot him as he was just about to kill me. Juan Morales. You know who his brother is. Ramon. Juan was his partner as well as his brother. Ramon's not going to pass up this chance to get revenge on us. But this was legitimate defense, Dad. How are you going to prove that's true? By your brother's word or by Esmeralda's? You'll never convince a jury. And don't forget that the sheriff is on Ramon's side and that Morales has three bullets in the middle of his back. Slim, I think you ought to play it safe and hide out in the mountains for the time being. John, you better continue on your way to Tucson. Then look up Judge Barrett. 
and tell him about this. He and I were boyhood friends. He'll know what to do. Mr. Baxter, listen. Please, I'd like to stay at your house. Why, yes, of course you can, child. I'm sure you're better off with us and stay as long as you like. And don't you worry. Come on, let's get moving. Ramon and his gang are going to be out looking for Juan. Esmeralda, it'll be all right. Just do as Pa says. Head for the mountains near Peñon. Right. Then I'll be able to send you word right. by Joselito. Ha! Adios! Good luck, Slim. time. Lucas, Francisco, vámonos.
Baxter! Slim Baxter! What do you want, Ramon? Are you deaf, Yaid? I want your son, Slim. He's not here. He's in Tucson. I don't believe you. I tell you, he's not here. He's gone to Tucson to buy a team of horses for the ranch. <laughs> Too bad I missed him. I want to see him. And you know what we are going to do to get him back here in a hurry? Eh? <laughs> we'll invite him to your funeral. Francisco, la muchacha. No, stop. Let her go. Come back. No. Anybody ask you how come you're a sheriff? It's because I believe in maintaining the law. Hmm, that's it. And because I pay you good money to do it. The other night there was a party at the ranch of Ed Baxter. By now you've heard talk about it. Yeah, I heard. You had to put up a little necessary self-defense, it seems, against Baxter's boys. 
That's how I'll put it in my report, legitimate defense. And as for Slim Baxter, I got a warrant out for his arrest for killing your brother. Slim is going to get hanged. I'll make sure of that. Slim Baxter won't be strung up by you, Sheriff, because I want to do that. That's what I meant. You're going to do it, because Baxter is very dangerous. I need you as my deputy. I couldn't do it alone. All right, that's enough. Out of here, all of you. Did you want to see me, Ramon? Yeah. Come here, Roselito. There's not much that goes on in Agua Prieta you don't know about. Not much, Ramon. Roselito sees everything and knows everything. But every so often, he doesn't see anything and he doesn't know anything. <laughs> Tell me, Roselito, do you know where I can find Slim? Funny you should ask me that. Because I just don't know where he is, you see, although I've been asking. I have been looking and asking all over Aqua Prieta for that miserable weasel. And I'll tell you, maybe he's gone down to Mexico. Because he ain't been seen around by anyone. Or at least not that I've heard. But if I find out where that skunk is, Ramon, my word of honor, I'll let you know. Search in the mountains around the pass to Peñon. Say, now, that's not a bad idea. I might just do that, you know. And you know what to say? That somebody spilled old Baxter's blood. And that that girl of his will get the same treatment if he doesn't hurry up and come back to town. Now get out of here. Go drink to my health. I'll do that, Ramon. Usual, Pedro, and make it a big one. Have you hit the jackpot? Wish I had. I'm not a gambling man, Pedro. The money I make is honest money. I think I'd just better take that along with me. I've got to go on a mission. Something to do with Ramon, eh? I'll bet you promised to drink to his health. I did. Why not? <laughs> to Ramon's health and the health of all his fine boys. Oh, Lord, may the souls of Ramon and his boys soon go up to heaven where they belong. Amen. What was all that about, eh? I was just praying. I was asking divine assistance in the long, hard task ahead of me. Mm. I've got to find Slim Baxter. Mm.
Give me a drink, will you, pal? Anything to cure this lousy monotony. Say, when does a stagecoach arrive in this stinking town? Oh, within 12 or 15 days, I think. And with a priest. What do you mean, within 12 or 15 days? I mean, it depends on the bandits, senor. And whether they attack the stagecoach. Do you think the bandits would be apt to rob the stage this time? No, no, with a priest on board, they would not dare. But there is always a chance. He must be a foolish priest to come all the way out to this wilderness. He comes to marry those who wants it and bury those who needs it and baptize babies who don't want it or need it. Adios, amigos. There ain't much doing in this town. There ain't a girl worth looking at or anyone who knows poker. When well, man, it go mad. Last year in St. Louis, I made a living just at cards and roulette. But there's no one to play cards with around here. They're in California. Got word about the gold there and poof. The place was like a ghost town in a matter of weeks. Have a friendly game of cards with me, pal. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. But we play for drinks, not money. <laughs> I'm sorry it happened this way. <laughs> One of these days, you'll change your mind about me. You'll come and beg me to marry you on your knees. Make sure that you keep your eye on the road and stay on the inside and slow on curves because if you don't, I'll feed you to the buzzards. <laughs> Slim! Slim! Ha ha, you dumb animal. Forward, forward, you son of a mule. Ha! Now watch your step here, donkey. Are you listening? Slim! Slim! Watch where you're going, you stupid mule. Slim! Come on, you. Get moving. Hurry up. Get that lead out. It's me! Don't shoot, Slim! Yoo-hoo! I'm allergic to bullets, especially when somebody's aiming them right at my nose. Where you been hiding? <laughs> oh, Salita, you old drunkard. <laughs> Got any messages from my father? No, Slim. This time it's not your father who sent you the message. It's Ramon. Now, please don't get the idea that I'm doing business with that skunk. You know, Slim, I never did business with him, and I never will. Not even if he paid me with all the gold in California. Eh, no, then maybe I would. Sure, for all that gold. Anyway, he told me to go out and try to find you up in the mountains. And Ramon said to tell you, and these are his very words, eh, that is... But how come Ramon sent you, not my father? Oh, Slim, your father's dead. Killed by Ramon. Why, that dirty... Ah, oh, now I remember what else he said. That your girl would be killed the same way if you didn't come back to town. Esmeralda. Hmm. Slim, your pa was one of the best men in the whole damn territory. He was like a brother to me. We grew up together. And when they shot him down... Yeah, I, I... yeah. I know. <laughs> now come inside and take a rest.
Pedro, there was a time when you were on the side of law and order around here. And right now, the law needs men like you. Right, Sheriff? Hmm. We need men like him. I have always been for order and justice, but I don't know where to find Slim Baxter. Better find out if you want the place to stay open. <laughs> It'd be a shame if we closed you up for failing to cooperate with the law. Ah, for a beginner, it's not bad. Tell Ramon I'll be waiting at the two crosses. We'll find it out once and for all. He'll pay for murdering Pa. And he's to bring Esmeralda. You're out of your mind, Slim. You're not too bad a shot, but Ramon is faster than you are. And you're just not going to have time to get your gun out of your holster. Don't be sure about that. Tell him what I said. And I want you to be there as a witness for me. Why, of course. I don't imagine there's a prettier sight in town for your friends than watching you killed. I'll put up a poster and call it The Massacre at Aqua Prieta. That's just the thick-headedness that your pa had. Thicker than old cowhide. Uh, ain't no use preaching to you. If I was in his shoes, I wouldn't trust you. I'd take along a bunch of men and ambush you. It's not worth the risk, Ramon. I'm going with you. No, I go alone. Slim Baxter's a man who keeps his word. <sighs> Only it's going to take more than that to save his life. You ready, Yankee? Slim! Oh, Slim! Slim! Oh, Slim! No! <laughs> so you're still alive, are you? Give me a hand, muchacha. There's plenty of time for blubbering. You can do that tomorrow. Do you think that this is the proper time to make love to him? Come on, muchacha, help me carry him to the cave.
Why are they hitting him? Some poor devil who double-crossed the Morales gang. It's just disgusting. He's tougher than his father was. Well, I've done about all I could. Has he got a chance of recovery? <laughs> With all that lead he's got in his belly, I wouldn't better die about it. Here, give me a drink. You come back soon, Doctor. Slim still needs you. He needs a priest. I can't give him my blessing. If he gets any worse, you let me know. And now I'm gonna go out and get drunk in memory of old Ed Baxter. Sorry, muchacha. He'll get better. He, he's thicker than an old cowhide.
virgin. After what Ramon has done to me, I know I am a sinner in your eyes. Only if I marry Ramon can I redeem myself. Make Slim well. Holy Virgin, give him back his health. And I promise you, I will marry Ramon. What did I say, muchacha? I said that Slim here has skin tougher than cowhide. <laughs> I talked to Judge Barrett. He's going to help us. You're to join me in Tucson as soon as you're strong enough. No, Slim. You gotta stop this. You can't just go on hating and seeking revenge. Ramon and his gang will get what's coming to him before a court of justice and nothing less. Why do you say that? Why do you want to back out? If there's even one law that Morales understands, it's the law of the cult. Now you sound just like Ramon. Do you want to continue this bloodshed? Take Esmeralda. Get married. Go and live in Tucson. You can start all over again there. Forget you know Morales and Agua Prieta. Maybe it's not that easy for me. I've decided to do it. I'm not going to back down. And you, come here with that. I mean that bottle you're trying to hide. you. Tell Ramon that I'm alive and that I'm coming after him. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Get going.
time he's not going to escape us. Why don't we go out and wait at the ranch? That way we can keep his old mother company. <laughs> and with her as our hostage, he's sure to come back into town. No, I'm expecting him here. If he said he was coming here for me, then he'll do it. This time he won't be so lucky. <laughs> Somebody on the trail. Howdy. Howdy. Who are you? Kenton. Kenton Towers. And what do you want? I got a business deal for you. If you're interested. Simple as skin in a polecat. We'll all get piles of money. We don't need your money. And we got enough guys living here. Rest a spell and get going. You boys ought to hear me out. What is it you got to say? Three wagons of Ramones are leaving for the frontier. And you know what's in them? Guns. They're worth $15,000. The Mexicans buy the guns and Morales takes the dollars. Unless we get there first. Simple, no? <laughs> How do we know you're telling the truth? 
Put the gun away, Bert. We can check up on it. Where are the guns now? At Old's Corral. Let's go. I'll go down and have a look. You boys better wait here and keep an eye on things. the wagons over the border before nightfall. Comprendido? You do. Carry him outside. Come on. Help me. I'll take your legs up. <laughs> Shut up. And you. Go on. Open the door. Easy, easy, muchachos. All right. Yeah. I got him. No, he's nothing. He's nothing. Sancho, stop at the Manuelos Ranch. Leave him there and meet us as soon as you can at the border. All right. The rest move. of you get in the wagons. Come on. Vámonos, muchachos. Vámonos. That's good enough. Meet us at the border.
This is only the beginning, Ramon. That, that wagon was worth $5,000. We're doing this my way, Towers. Remember that. He was right. It's the money we want. If you've got a personal score to settle with Ramon, you can settle it on your own. You'll get your money, and you'll get plenty. Rosalito! Well, I might have knowed. When I heard that explosion, I knowed who it was. Slim, and I was right. Okay, what do you want, Joselito? Your mother's sick, Slim. Is she? No, no, no. It's not a calamity. It's just that your mother wants you to go home and see her. You better go on ahead without me, boys. Blows 5,000 bucks sky high and backs out and goes home. Hey, 5,000 bucks, did you say? Yeah, you got pretty good ears. Come on, boys.
Holmes, Lynn. Thank God you're back. Howdy, Mike. Mary, tell me, how's Mama? Holmes, the Slim, the missus is sick. The doctor says it ain't serious, but I know it's different. It's bad. Well, I'll be damned if it ain't Slim Baxter retained from the dead. Listen here, Mary. Isn't it the custom in this house to offer guests a little got time drink? I to talk. How's my doc? Oh, she's a Baxter just like you. She's got to hide like the rest of the family. Why don't you go on up and see her? She's waiting for you. Mama. Slim. Mama. Slim at last. I knew you'd come before it was too late. What do you mean by that? I haven't got long to wait. It's very easy for me to die now. I can't live without you, Paul. But it might have been hard to go without seeing you. Or not seeing you live in the right kind of life. Not the life of a bandit, son. Because you're not like that. Slim. There are plenty of nice girls in the world, son. It's no good to go on waiting for a girl that belongs to another. But, Ma... I love Esmeralda. I know. But, Slim, Esmeralda wants another man, and there's nothing you can do to change her. Now, listen to me. In time, you'll see you'll have forgotten her. But waiting like this for her, you'll just grow to hate her. Slim, you've got to forget this idea of revenge. Don't let yourself become a murderer and an outlaw. Swear to me, I beg you for my sake, swear as you'd swear on the Bible for me, that you'll give up this revenge. Do it for me. Give me that promise, will you? So that I can die in peace. Sure, I promise. I won't look for revenge. Not even from Ramon. I swear it. How long I've waited to hear that, my son. You'll find your way. I know, son, that you'll find your way. Hurry up, all of you! Francisco! My rifle! Lucas! We're going to wipe him out this time. He'll pay for killing Manuel and Sancho. I want his skin and I'm going to get it. He'll be sorry he was born. Vámonos! I've decided. I'm no longer out for revenge. I'm going to try to live within the law. That's the way it should be if you can do it. Are you still willing to help me? I'm more than willing. Good. This bottle I've been saving for you. I hid it away under the sink. Say, where'd the doctor go? He was singing and drinking and carrying on, so I threw him out, the old drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks. I'll only be overnight, Tucson, so you wait here. And watch out for yourself. Don't take any chances. And when I get back, the whole family will leave okay. for Nevada. Okay. Where we can live in peace. Uh, you better stay in hiding while I'm away. Ramon's got spies out everywhere. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Slim. You take good care of yourself, you hear? And you take good care of Mama. Don't you worry about that. I'll see she gets better. Have a good trip, John. Thanks, goodbye. Take care, Slim. Adios. We'll see you, Mike. God go with you.
through the shed. Mary! Mary! John! Jose! Antonio! To the stables! Upstairs! Pronto! Stop! Get out, you hear?
it ain't John Baxter. It's your brother I want, that outlaw fella called Slim. And I want Ramon, Ramon Morales. Hmm. Tell me where he is, Sheriff. You don't have far to look, Baxter. You made your big mistake in thinking you could kill my brother and live to tell it. Sheriff, that snake was about to shoot you down. You can thank me for saving your life. Sure, sure. Adios, amigo. John. Adios, Rosalito. Adios, Slim. No place here for you anymore. You better get going. That's for me to decide. I ain't asking. I'm telling you. I give the orders around here now.
Anyone else want to take my place? That old fool has been in and out of town all week. I say we ought to follow him. He could lead us straight to Slim. It's about time we finished him off. We ought to get him before he gets us. We got nothing to fear from him. He won't be able to get us. The sheriff's put a price on his head. Slim's as good as finished. Yeah, but you can't be sure. If you take my advice, you'll find him and get rid of him, once and for all. I'm not going to take any more chances. From now on, I'm going to let the sheriff take care of it. Ramon Morales has always been a supporter of the law. Remember, amigo. You're too slow. You're getting better. You still need to work on it. There's one sure way to improve. Let's go. Put your hand on the block. And when you're ready, you go for your gun as fast as you can. <laughs> Before the axe comes down on it. It's fast. You're getting faster. Once more.
I was afraid you wouldn't get here, Padre. Come on, Padre. We're waiting. Without Slim before it's too late. Please go. Slim for my sake. Please. You've got to go. I beg you, Slim. I don't want you to be killed. Please. Get a pistol. Make it fast. No! Ramon, no, don't do it. Don't kill him, please, Ramon. Please let him go. Ramon, let him go. I'll marry you, please. You've got to listen to me. Please, Ramon, please. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Please. I beg you. I beg you.
Busy little town you've got here, mister. Quite a priest. That's one way to give people to church. When does the next stagecoach come to town? In about 12 or 15 days, senor. There's a priest coming this time. Another one? Why do you need two priests? This one's not a priest, senor. Not a priest? How do you explain that? Yeah. He's got the clothes of a priest, but he's really a cowboy. Ah, sure. That makes sense. What need is there anyway for another priest in this here wilderness, mister? He's coming to marry the first priest, senor. <laughs> yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> Adios, senores. Adios.